Sarah. Um, Kai, nice to, uh, nice to see you, nice to meet you in person, finally, after all these years. Um, this is the first one of these, so thank you for being a willing, uh, willing victim. You're and, very uh, welcome. <laughs> um, so let's start off with the, with the first question, and, and that is, uh, which, I, which I should know by now, but um, uh, what are some of the important problems related to customers and capture that, you're, that you are seeing? You know, what, what we find is that uh, the pandemic has sort of restructured the way people think about uh, digital transformation. It's such a buzzword, right? But we, we feel that the pandemic has dramatically accelerated the need for organizations to get rid of all of their paper, especially in the healthcare industry. We see this, no one wants to pass paper around anymore. And, and so that means that organizations are just getting every document from third parties in some digital form. And that means a great diversity of documents that IT has no control over anymore. Mm -hmm. Lots of different file formats and people doing whatever they're going to do, meaning taking photos of documents using their mobile device or their copy machine at 600 dpi in color, giving you monster sized documents, giving you corrupted documents when they use right. their own tools, or just file formats that you might have never seen before. And, and so that ultimately results in people getting files that won't display correctly, won't display at all, or won't open at all, or just take forever to open because, well, they're huge. They're huge yeah. And so ultimately that means business processes getting stuck, capture processes getting stuck. And, and it's amazing how much capture software is still out there today that actually doesn't do very well when it comes to throwing a great diversity of different document types and file formats at them. Cool. Um, let me let me go off script a little bit because you mentioned the, mentioned the word digital transformation and I think mm -hmm. I've noted I noted this a couple of times in the in the newsletter. Um, how uh, that's such a nebulous term and it's such a mm -hmm. vast term from, from Foxit Software standpoint. How do you how do you view it? How do you see that that word? How that term that phrase? You know, it, it means a million things to right. a million people. Uh, for us, ultimately it means that people are trying to be more efficient about the business processes that they deal with every day. Uh, we still see lots and lots of people coming in, leveraging our technology to finally get rid of good old paper forms mm -hmm. and just turn it into a PDF form or stopping the mailing and FedExing of contracts around instead of instead to digitally sign those mm -hmm. contracts. You know, those are just two examples that we see a lot. You'd think people would be much further along, but it turns yeah. out well, that's yeah. not the case. You know, and some of the IDC stats show that 65% you know, of organizations right here in North America are not far along in that digital transformation process. So there's a monster size opportunity right. for companies to help with digital transformation. And, and, and even with simple things like helping people edit PDFs to make a nice digital form mm -hmm. or digital signatures and, and many other things. I like that first way you phrased it. That, that, that's, uh, that was interesting. Um, so back to the back to the script, so to, mm -hmm. so, to, so to speak. Um, I know this isn't a traditional conference or, or trade show, but what, what, will, what will you be speaking to our attendees uh, about uh, this uh, tomorrow? Yeah, you know, tonight? Foxit is a, a PDF document solutions company. And everything we do is focused on helping organizations do more with their documents. So we have desktop applications such as a traditional PDF editor. We have uh, software development toolkits that can let you do anything you could imagine to a PDF file on any operating system, any device, or in the browser. And we have mass document conversion and compression servers that are really all meant to help people address these problems that we've been talking about. And, uh, and, and so part of it is, is really to do more, such as that digital signature, or to, to normalize those business processes by standardizing all the documents as they come into the company to PDF or PDFA, make them all searchable because most business solutions today deal just fine with a PDF file. It's all the other file formats that get difficult and it's the poorly created PDF files that also cause problems. And so that ability to normalize is uh, a common theme. Yeah, a major issue. 
Um, so, final question, and an easy one for me to ask, um, hard for you, maybe, maybe fun one for you to answer. Uh, where do you see the industry going in 18 to 24, in 24 months? What do you, you think is going to be the same? Maybe what do you think is going to be a little bit different? You know, I, we see two trends. One, I mean, both trends are well known. We, we see a continuation of that. So the first one is this digitizing things. We think that everybody's going to be looking to digitize more. Mm -hmm. and, and that means either getting rid of, you know, analog processes that might have involved paper, um, or to simply automate business processes. Um, but the second aspect is really the ability to do what you want to do from wherever you are mm -hmm. and on whatever device you are. So that in even includes that the traditional desktop will go away. Uh, every desktop is going to be a cloud desktop down the road managed by a professional managed service provider who can do it right. Mm -hmm. And so especially when you look at the SMB market, there's a lot of players out there that where the owner of your barber shop or your, your dentist they don't know anything about IT, so they're gonna just say, you know what, all the PCs that we have, let's stick them in the cloud. Mm -hmm. That way we focus on our business instead of focusing on um, IT security and things like that. And, and so that means everyone needs to be able to be able to address, address and use documents wherever they are on whatever device they are on. And so the ability to create efficient documents that are easy to work with in any environment is going to be a critical component uh, over for the next years to come. I'm not, a, not an expert on this, but it's almost like a return to um, dumb terminals from when PCs first came out like years ago. It's like I think of that as well. Yes. In, in a previous life, I actually worked for a company <laughs> that uh, produced multi-user, multitasking mm -hmm. operating systems for dumb terminals, and I, I see it going that way, except the dumb terminal is your iPad and your, That's right. your, your laptop or, or whatever device you happen to be carrying around with you that connects to a highly secured, managed environment uh, where things are taken care of for you so that you can focus on your job and someone else can focus on making sure that it's efficient and secure. Well, fantastic. Thank you very much, Kai. You're very welcome. Thanks for having us.